Welcome back to my channel. Today we're painting ginkgo leaves. And if you're new, hello, my name is Nisha and I teach watercolor and illustration tutorials. So I'm starting with a very light yellow to show you an example of our technique today. This is a really watered down, really light yellow. It's hard to see, so I'm zooming in a little bit here. And ginkgo leaves have a little bit of a fan shape for their leaves and they're very thin, a little bit wavy along the top. The color ranges from yellow to greens. So I'm going to do a yellow one here as the practice leaf. Once you have your watered down light yellow color, you can go in with a darker shade like an orange around the edges. And while it's still wet and damp, that color will naturally blend together. This is wet on wet technique. You can keep a paper towel on hand and then just use a clean brush to take away any extra water or color if it gets too wet. Okay, so while that dries, we'll start with the light green one. This is a yellow green that I'm starting. So just like we did the sample leaf, I'm putting in the fan shapes and this is the first layer. So all of them are pretty light and I will make several of them coming off of one branch. I'll also link a reference image below that you can refer to. So if you want to keep that on hand while you paint, it might be helpful. And then again, while it's still a little bit damp, I'm adding in that darker green around the edges. One of the things to remember about this technique is to know when to stop. <laughs> It's best to just sort of let the watercolor do its thing and blend together naturally and try not to overwork that area too much with your brush. Okay, so then we'll just repeat the same steps for all of the rest of the leaves and this will be our first layer. One thing that can give your painting some more interest as well is to vary up your shades of green. So you'll see me switch a little bit in every time I put a new leaf. I'm adding a little bit either more yellow or orange or more of some blues and greens. Also when you're painting, keep in mind not just your colors, whether they lean more yellow or blue, Keep in mind that some are going to be darker and more shadowed if they're behind a leaf and if they're more in front, they'll have more water so they're diluted a bit more and they're going to be a little bit lighter. I'm adding some brown now to that center branch area and then also blending out some of those edges as they grow out into the leaves. All right, so that first yellow one has dried, so we can do our second layer with our details. I'm using the end of the brush and using a really light touch to put some fine lines and texture into that leaf. And if you look at the reference image, you'll see these little tiny lines that fan out from that center stem. Okay, so if you've practiced on your practice leaf, we'll go back to the main one. I'm putting in that second layer, which is a little bit more shadows, and then the third layer, I'll add in the texture lines. When you're building up your shadow layers, remember that you can keep some areas white so you have that paper showing through, and then some of the shadows can be a little bit of a harsher line, so it's crisp edge and then some you can soften out and blend with just a rinsed brush, a damp brush, and then blend out those edges. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and then after it's dried a little bit, you can go in with those texture lines that look like a little fan. And sometimes it's easier if you hold your brush way towards the back end of the handle. You can get a lighter touch and some more light wispy lines that way. If you ever have an area that has too many lines or got too dark, just use a little bit of paper towel to dab it up. While those leaves dry, you can go in and add some more shadows along the branch and some of the stems and then blend out any edges that you like. And then also to remember is the shadows and the lines will be a bit darker where they attach to each stem. So closer to the branch, it'll be darker and then lighter as they fan out upwards to the edges of the leaf. Thank you for joining me and painting along. I hope you had fun. And if you recreate this, please tag me over on Instagram. I'd love to see your work. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.